Hello everyone. Today we will see how to implement informative page using HTML. So our problem statement is using HTML5 layout tags develop informative page with section which include various images, links to other pages for navigation, make use of all possible formatting, for example, font and color. So we will use HTML tag, head tag, title tag, body tag, bold tag, italic tag, center tag, UL tag, OL tag, LI tag, break tag, paragraph tag, image tag and anchor tag. So let's start with implementation. I am using Sublime Text Editor. So, to start HTML coding, first of all, we will write doc type HTML. So, doc type HTML is used for to tell that our page is having HTML type. Now I will use the HTML tag first. Now in HTML, every tag should be closed by using forward slash HTML. So I want to create HTML file. So I will make one file name as web.html. So every HTML page is saved by using the extension .html. Now I will save this file. Then I will use the head tag to give the heading to my page. Now I will use the title tag inside. This is my first web page. This is my title. Now I will use the body tag. So body tag is another very important tag in HTML. Whatever the logic you are apply to your HTML page is inside the body tag. Now I will leave the text over here. I will save this file and when I run this file by right click to file then open with Google Chrome Now you will see my text is look like this. Now when I want to add this text at the center of my web page, so I will just use the tag center. Now I will close this tag and save the file. Now I will again run this file. Now see my text is at the center of my web page. Now I want to add heading to my web page. So I will use the H1 tag. Now I will add H2 tag. So in HTML, H1, H2, H3, H4, H5, H6, 
tag is available. Now I will add it three tag. Mechanical department. Now I will add its full tag. Now I will save this file and run this file, you will see heading is implemented h1, h2, h3, h4. So in this way you can add the h1 tag. Now you will see how to add paragraph tag. So I will just take the text and put inside the paragraph tag. Suppose I will just put this information inside the paragraph tag. Now I will save this file and again run. You will see my paragraph is added now. Now you will see how to add bold tag, underline tag and italic tag. So for this I will again take one more paragraph over here. So I will implement it bold tag. Then underline tag and italic tag. Now I will save this file again and run this code. We will see this is bold tag, underline tag, and italic tag. So, in this tag, I will use the break tag. So, for break tag, I will create one more paragraph. Now I will add paragraph here and I will add the break tag. So what is the purpose of break tag is you want to break your line or you want to go for the next line. So that purpose you can add the break tag. So I will add break tag here now save this file again and run this code you will see the break tag is implemented so in this way you can add the break tag now we will use the strike tag. So somehow there will be a situation where we have to add date in different format. 
so you can use the strike tag so i will add date over here and close the strike tag now i will add strike tag here and save this file and run this code you will see my date is implemented now we will see superlative tag so i will use here sub sub superlative tag so there is a situation where you require x raised to power something so at that moment you are using the superlative tag so we are using sub tag also so we have to add some expression sometime at that moment we are using the sub tag now i will save this file and run this code you will see x raised to the power 2 and h2o is displayed now we will see how to add image to the web page so i will use image tag and here is the source so source is the attributes of the image tag now to add the image first of all i want to add the path of that image so i will just go to image right click over here then copy path of image and paste over here but my work is not done i want to check the extension of that image jpg the extension of this image now i will give the name of that image then dot jpg extension then i want to add width to that image suppose 100 and height i will give 70 now i will add alt tab so alt tag is used for alternative purpose suppose our image is not displayed due to some reason so for that purpose we are using the alternative tag now i will save this file again and run this code now you will see my image is display now i want to add the hyperlink to my web page so by using the anchor tag i will use the hyperlink so for hyperlink i want to give the url of that specific website i will add over here and write down some text over here like visit to google site now i will save this file and again run you will see the link is created whenever i click over here you will see google pages display 
so in this way you can implement the anchor tag now we will see the table tag suppose i want to add the table to my big page so i will write down table tag now inside the table tag i will write down tr tag that is table row and inside the table row i should write down the table heading so ts tag i will do over the roll number then likewise i can add student name and i can add mobile number i will save this file and run this code you will see table is created but this is not a pro proper format of the table so for that i will just write down table border equal to 1 now whenever i run this code you will see table is created now i want to add row to this table so i will add table row again and i will add td tag that is table data now i will give the table data 1 values 1 row number is 1 then name of the student and mobile number of the student i will write down mobile number also now Suppose I want to add one more entry to my table, so I will just use tr tag again. Inside tr tag, I will write down td tag and give the entry that is two. Then student and mobile number so likewise you can add more entries i will just add two entries over here now you will see my table row is look like this now i want to add order list so i will give break over here after table tag then i will give the poem tag and inside the order list i will add the li tag that is list so inside list tag i will add number of entries so likewise i can add 
more entries. Suppose copy, then paste, then move. So likewise I can add number of entry. Now whenever I run this code, you will see my order list is look like this. Now I want to add one order list. So I will use the UL tag. So inside the UL tag I want to add li tag so in li tag i will write down the entries so likewise you can add now I will save this file and run this code. You will see my unordered list is created. So, in this way, you can implement the informative page using HTML. We will implement over here head tag, title tag body tag, center tag, h1, h2, h3, h4 tag, then paragraph tag, then bold, underline, italic tag, then strike tag, then superlative tag, sub tag, image tag, anchor tag, table tag, Inside the table tag, we will implement tr, ph, then td, then order list, and finally an order list. So, in this way, you can implement the informative page using HTML.